This episode of Sportsman's News Television is brought to you by the Sportsman's News Pro Membership Sweepstakes, where everyone hunts and fishes like the pros. Ford Trucks, Sitka Gear, Browning, Outdoor Edge Knives, Alps Outdoors, and Sportsman's Warehouse. Well, I'm in one of my favorite places again in Alaska, southeast Alaska with Yakutat Lodge. Uh, we're actually going to be doing a, a, a cool show this year. We're going to be here in the spring for Spring Steelhead uh, in uh, the end of April, first part of May, and then I'll be back in the fall for uh, silver salmon and for some ocean fishing. So uh, it should be a great show. We uh, uh, are going to have some pretty good weather, but expect uh, big rains. So. Uh, what do you say we grab our gear and head out here with Yakutat Lodge in southeast Alaska. Jesse, you're the uh, Riders Contest winner for 2017. That's right, that's right. Pretty excited about it. This is a fun trip. I, uh, I'm an avid fly fisherman, and so to come and, and uh, try to, to fish for the stillhead here on the Sea Tuck is, is a you know chance of a lifetime. So, really grateful and, uh, and happy to be here. And Brooks, you're the uh, PR director for Camp Chef. Yeah. And, uh, and also by uh, helping cameramen on this trip. When I'm not here, I'm where you are. So every once in a while, I like to get out and do a little cooking. So my goal is, let's catch as much halibut as possible so we can cook it up on the pellet grill. Okay. And what, what we want to do is we want to keep his head in the water so they don't freak out when they take that first hold of air. Can you hang on to that weight for me? It's a so so what, what we did is you can keep one under 28 inches and one over. And that one was just bare over uh, 28 inches, but I think we can get a little bit bigger one to take some more meat home. So I made the decision to throw it back and let's see if it was the right decision. We're on the SeaTuck River in Southeast Alaska with Yakutat Lodge, and we're gonna be fishing for spring steelhead. We're here about the third week in April, and uh, Jesse, I know you've been excited to come on this trip. Oh, absolutely, this is like a dream come true, you know. Uh, you know, uh, this is one of the best places to get steelhead. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna use conventional gear, maybe a little fly fishing as well. Uh, the flows are a little bit lower, but uh, this is gonna be a fantastic day, and uh, the weather looks like it's gonna, gonna cooperate for us today as well. Hey, you know, we've uh, uh, experienced a lot of rain up here. Uh, it's been very dry, so the river is really low. It's uh, uh, been about a, a hundred uh, CFS, and uh, we're up to almost 200 now. So uh, that's going to be good. The water's going to be a little bit more colored today, which uh, should be uh, better as well. Uh, those uh, low, clear flows make it kind of tough on these uh, springers coming straight in. So uh, we're looking for a great day here with Yakutat Lodge on the Sea Tuck River. Nowhere else in the world can you really sight fish for 10,000 steelhead at a time. Um, and what makes it so special for the fish themselves, this river is 14 miles of percolated gravel, so it's a solid spawning bed, essentially. So these fish come in here, and they really love it here. I mean, it's a really great place for them to spawn, a great place for them to take care of themselves. And because of that, it brings all the sport anglers here, because they're just, I mean, you're going to see it, man. It's out of control. It's out of control. Well. You never had a steelhead, so you do have that to overcome. That's a nice fish. But they figure there's between 15 and 2,000 fish, probably, at least in the river now. Uh, we haven't seen any big, big, big pods today. We've seen uh, a lot of 10, 20, 30 fish uh, pods of fish. Uh, quite a few boats on the river today, so it's uh, been a little bit tough. You don't know when they've been hit. You can kind of tell when they've been hit because they just they just don't do anything. 
but uh, when you find some that haven't been hit so much and, and get that uh, right presentation, uh, it's fun times here on the Seatuck River with Yakutat Lodge. I think uh, pound for pound, there's steelhead are one of the strongest fish you'll ever fight. And there are very many rivers in the world where you can have a chance to catch as many, hook as many uh, wild steelhead anywhere, especially in Alaska, than the Seatuck River in Yakutat, Alaska. Perfect, another great Sea uh, Tuck River steelhead. Yeah. Nice fish, yeah. This is a big fish, big, big cromer, long. This is a good one. There's a big fish. Yeah, a lot of length. That's probably probably looking at uh, mid mid to high 30s. Yeah, mid 30s. When, when he's right thrown in, let him back in. Hold it up, Jesse. Hit him coming up in the high water. Here. Well, uh, you know, uh, here we are at the end of our last drift of our last day. Uh, for spring steelhead in uh, Yakutat, Alaska with Yakutat Lodge. And uh, boy, Brooks, uh, this is your first experience in yeah. this uh, type of fishing, isn't it? First time steelheader. And everybody told me a steelhead's a fish of a thousand casts. I almost put in a thousand casts, and I was able to catch double digit fish three days on the river. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I'll say. And then uh, we're here with our Riders Contest uh, winner, of course, uh, Jesse Riding. And uh, Jesse, uh, you fished all over the world, but uh, this is a little bit different type of uh, uh, way to fish, and uh, uh, these steelhead are, can be tricky. Yeah, yeah, it was a new way of fishing for me. Uh, for sure, it was uh, skinny water, so it was uh, a real challenge and different, but uh, we were successful in getting those steelhead, and uh, they are beautiful fish, and it's beautiful scenery, and uh, uh, like, you know, it's just uh, one of those bucket list items for me, so it's been a fantastic trip. Well, great, we're glad to have you here, and. Uh, uh, we're going to continue this story in a couple of months. I'm going to be back here in September to uh, partake of the great silver salmon fishing, and uh, both here on the Sea Tuck and on the Italio, hopefully as well. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, we'll be catching some more big fish here on the Sea Tuck River with the Yakutat Lodge. All right, Jim. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's reel that uh, rod in the back corner up, guys. <laughs> Bring him in on the winch. I got put it on the man. It's kind of like a gator. Oh, yes. Nice. Nice, guys. Well, we, well, we, did. we did well. We're done Jason, aren't you glad your dad brought you on this oh, trip I'm now? I'm very happy, yes. Uh, That's a good man. <laughs> that is a good How man. We just went off around Hubbard Glacier. It was fantastic as chunks of ice came off. 
Well, guys, we did a pretty, uh, had a pretty good day out there today with uh, Matt, our captain, and uh, uh, I'm afraid that Jason beat you out by just a little bit on that big one. Well, that's true. I think yeah. the rockfish is more his. <laughs> Jim's life story, yes. You know, Brooks, uh, what opportunities we have uh, at different times of the year for uh, the Sportsman's News uh, followers. So we have Jesse Riding that was one of the uh, uh, Riders Contest winners in the spring trip. And now on the fall trip, we've got two winners from the pro membership sweepstakes. Uh, uh, really some fantastic trips yeah. they have a chance to come on, isn't it? Yeah, it's really cool. So many opportunities. I mean, you write a good story, you get picked for the winner, you get to go on a free fishing trip and catch that fish of a lifetime, that fish of a thousand casts, which is a stillhead, or you sign up for the pro membership and look what uh, these guys got to experience. They got to experience uh, yak attack in a really cool way, chasing cohos and uh, and then getting out in the ocean. That's right. Great opportunities. If you're not a member of the Pro Membership Sweepstakes yet, uh, you know, on this particular trip, we've had uh, a multiple winner with us. Uh, uh, Jim Hayden's been in for about a year. He's already won a elk trip to Cody, Wyoming, and now he won the uh, Yakutat Lodge trip here uh, in Southeast Alaska, and four or five of the bonus prizes too. So great opportunities. If you're not a member of the Pro Membership Sweepstakes, you ought to be. This episode of Sportsman's News Television is brought to you by the Sportsman's News Pro Membership Sweepstakes, where everyone hunts and fishes like the pros. Ford Trucks, Sitka Gear, Browning, Outdoor Edge Knives, Alps Outdoors, and Sportsman's Warehouse.